Jamaican Snuggie coming at y'all. <coughs> one more time, once again. All right, a little bit of a switch up. A little bit of a switch up. We know we, we all of us, we're waiting for uh, Game of Thrones. Season eight. Season eight to come back, okay? We, we just can't wait. So what I thought was, leading up to season eight, I would do a- Rewatch. Rewatch, recap, podcast, show kind of thing right so <clears throat> so what's gonna happen is DK and myself and hopefully we'll have some special guests in the future but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewatch every single season so for this episode for the first episode we're doing season one so during each show we're gonna recap review give our thoughts speculate talk whatever only the content of what happened in season one and the next episode will be season two and so on and so far so fart so forth you got it, you got so forth forward and so f you get it leading up to uh season eight, eight. season eight so um so like i said today this episode this, season one. this podcast only season one that's all we're going to talk about all right so how do we start well I just made notes while I was watching it. Uh, DK made mental notes, okay? We're just gonna bounce off of each other. Feel free, have discussions in the uh, comment section. I mean, if y'all if y'all wanna talk about other seasons, I guess it's all right, but like I said, we're just gonna dominantly just focus on season one since that what, that's what we just rewatched. So, um, so I guess the first thing I'll say is it, what I found interesting about Khaleesi, mm. okay? Now, I'm talking to I'm talking to both of y'all. Okay. okay, okay. What I found interesting about Khaleesi was is that I actually I, did, I re rewatching season one. I learned relearned so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and I never remembered that she was from Pesto. No way. I take it back. No, 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 no. Not Pesto. That's that's tomato sauce. Pen Pentos. 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 Hey, I'm not good with names. Pentos, pretty sure it's Pentos, okay? And that was just something I relearned because I haven't seen season one since my, what, rookie year in college. And that was like so long ago, you know? Yeah, I love that the first episode, it kind of helped, like especially new beginners, by giving each area a title, like Winterfell, King's Landing. And I was like, they, I, in the past, last episodes that I've watched, I've never seen them do that, but hmm. they kind of have uh, a beginner intro kind of way of like, okay, if you're not familiar with the books, mm -hmm. I'm, you're gonna have to know these places. Mm -hmm. Try to remember these places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that too. King's Landing, you just see a little King's Landing. Thank you. Cause sometimes I forget the names, okay. Uh, Winterfell. Winterfell, thank you. I, the Wall. You I got always it. I forget about where the wall is. I'm like, what is this place called? It's called <laughs> something. <laughs> but you know what though? You know what I enjoyed most of all probably? Mm -hmm. My lord, I got to see Lady Stark again. I got to see the queen, my queen, Lady Stark in her gorgeous red hair glory. Mm -hmm. It was so wonderful to see my girl again. It was crazy just to see like the whole family together again. That That's was true. Because I mean, we've watched so many seasons of everybody trying to get back together mm -hmm. or just trying to survive. Mm -hmm. And this just starts off, you just see pretty much Arya trying to be a knight. You mm -hmm. see uh, my boy Jon Snow trying to be a ranger. Gotcha. And you see Rob just trying to be the next Ned Stark, mm -hmm. you see Bran just climbing on everything, mm -hmm. and everything turns just upside down when the king comes to town. <laughs> Kings, and then really Ned, he just wanna be left alone. Mm -hmm. He just wanna be left alone. He don't wanna, he don't wanna, he just wanna be uh, the lord of Winterfell, watch mm -hmm. his people, take care of his people, winter's coming. Winter's <laughs> he has coming. to prepare for winter. Gotcha. So I'm like, man, this is, why did, why did that King King Robert have to come mess with Ned? Ned had nothing had nothing to do with the, the Lannisters. Woo! 
Ooh, it made me hate Jamie. I, I've been loving Jamie the last couple seasons. Cause he, he's, been, he's been good. I forgot how bad he was. I forgot. And I actually started liking Jamie later on. For, for sure. That's the crazy part of how this show does this. Looking mm -hmm. at uh, the, the Hound. I mean, this man. The Hound was actually not a He's, ter he's terrible. He's that terrible. He wasn't that. He's terrible. I mean, he, you, see, you see lights. You see little shades. Because he was nice to Sansa. You see shades of it. You see shades of it. I got you. But he killed that boy who. Uh, Which boy? I, the boy that hit uh, Joffrey with the stick. You know, they were playing by the lake. Yeah, yeah. And it really wasn't the, the boy, it was uh, Arya who hit Joffrey. Yeah, yeah. They were playing, you know, swords. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And the hound killed that boy. Did I, did I miss that scene? Yeah, Joffrey told me he ordered him to, to kill that boy. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Because gotcha. he was like, yeah, you can't hit a king. And by his story, his story was he didn't want to blame it on Arya because he had a girl beat him up. So he blamed it on the boy. And if that boy did it, and he's not, you know, anybody's son, no lord's son, mm -hmm. I think he's like a baker's son or some kind of, I don't know who he was, but he wasn't important. So he got killed. Darn. You know, and even with Joffrey, I mean, the first time you see him in the first episode, you're like, he's a little handsome, you know, maybe a little spoiled. Ain't that bad, though. Yeah. And you know, I actually forgot how much I hated Joffrey uh, until he it, did what he did to Ned. And, like, and, yeah, you spend some more time with Darn. Him. I mean, let's start with the first episode. First mm -hmm. episode, I mean, it's it's good to see, you forget that the, the Night's Watch is pretty much really already dealing with the White Walkers. You forget about that. It, yeah. like, it starts off White Walkers. I forgot about the White Walker that went after the Lord Commander. Yeah, you got it. You got I, it. I, complete, I completely forgot about Lord Commander. And then the wolf. <laughs> well, no, that's a dog, but you get it. Same family. Mm -hmm. um, the wolf woke up. Woke uh, Jon Snow no. up and said, hey, he dude, something was we up. need to go check on Lord Commander. Something ain't right. Nah. You know? You got it. You got it. And then, I mean, just the introduction, mm -hmm. you know, to just Nick. Mm -hmm. Of seeing that uh, deserter from the, the, the Night's Watch. And he comes down to where Winterfell is. Mm -hmm. And they have to say, Ned, you got a deserter from the Night's Watch. Mm -hmm. His face was like, ah, I don't like doing this, but... The man who would, uh, does the sentence, does the actual, like, the punishment or something like that, mm -hmm. of cast the punishment. Mm -hmm. So, told the man, you know, it's going to be a clean death. Mm -hmm. Got that big old sword and just swoop. Oh, when they were out in the prairie. Yeah, and Bran and Bran had to kind of watch it, you know. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you got, don't, don't look away, don't look away. I think John said it, or I think it was John Snow who said it to mm -hmm. Bran. He was like, don't look away. Mm -hmm. you, need, you need this. And they run across all the... Uh, the dire wolves. Mm -hmm. I'm like, everybody get a dire wolf. Man. I'm telling you. And I, when they when they actually did get the puppies though, and then Jon Snow spin the lead, and he just found that random the puppy one. I was like, oh, I forgot about it. I forgot. Like I thought they each got a puppy. Like right then and there. Yeah. No. But that, that little one back there, Ghost, who we call him now. Yeah. I think but, that was symbolic because you know how Jon Snow's kind of like always cast. He's himself. a bastard. Yeah. So, so I guess. Same thing for the puppy too. And it's so crazy, little bitty moments that you see, like with uh, the first time you meet Tyrion, you know, and you I see how he kind of interacts with Joffrey. He yep. doesn't care who he is, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm your uncle, mm -hmm. and you're gonna respect your elders." Whoosh. Say, say, say one more word. But I'm like, that is my man Tyrion. I'm I saw Hank Voigt all up in him. You I saw it. Hank Voigt. You okay. got it. You mm. got it. I mean, and like I said, the first episode, you kind of see where the Lannisters' heads are at. And yeah. Like how they, they are just all about themselves. They don't care about the kingdom, the seven realms, mm -hmm. none of that. They care about power. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the Lannisters always say they always pay their debts. But, I mean, they got the money. Mm -hmm. And they got the power. They got the influence. They got mm -hmm. it all. So right now... First, the first season, you like, it ain't no way we gon' we gonna win this. I mean, we, what? I mean, you got you got Rob, you mm -hmm. know, going after the the Lannisters. You got Arya all split it up mm -hmm. in her uh, uh, situation of being on the outs of what. Before we go there, before mm -hmm. we get there, let's 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 get our 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 bearing straight right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get to King's Landing and see how Ned interacts with Littlefinger. And it, it just being the hand of the king, mm -hmm. it's just like he doesn't take the, the things that they do down south the same way as the people do up north. He, he's not that kind of kind of person. He, he walks with honor. 
You don't play. You don't like to play games, mm -hmm. even though it's called Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like to play games. I got. You. He's very straightforward. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like you can kind of predict what he's going to do mm -hmm. in the sense of how he's he's looking, hunting for truth of trying to figure out how the first hand died. I mean, he's been the hand of the king for so long, and he just uh, mysteriously yeah. died. Mm -hmm. what's, what's going on? It, it becomes this, this mystery. Even though we don't have a lot of action, we don't have no White Walkers right now. We have one, mm -hmm. you know, at the very beginning. Yeah, the big, the big one. Uh, and then you get those the white, yeah, other White Walkers, they have the burn. I forgot about the ones in the beginning. Yeah, but outside of that, it's just a lot of intrigue. It's mm -hmm. a lot of mystery. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of just the edge of your seat of mm -hmm. like, what, what are these people plotting? What are mm -hmm. they coming up with? What are their schemes? Mm -hmm. Like, is Littlefinger on Ned Stark's side? Is he mm -hmm. is he just using him as a, as a piece in a, in a chess move? What is he What is he up to? What is Varys up to? I mm -hmm. mean, he says he's he he cares about the realm, but I'm trying to figure out what's everybody heads at. Mm -hmm. Rob, I mean, uh, King Robert, he's just always drunk and just. He just, he's I like, like Robert though. I like, I like Robert. Them, I like. But at the same time, it, you, it was very easy for them to do what they did to him because he was always, you know, drunk. Always, give me some more wine. You know, I'm like, yeah, man, you don't, you don't need to to, to be that kind of king. I mean, he wasn't the worst, especially mm -hmm. compared to the Mad King. Yeah. You know, you get a little bit more of a backstory of why, why Jamie is called the King Slayer. You know, I you. I, I kind of forgot mm -hmm. how he became the King Slayer and what his reasons were. You know, in the sense of stabbing the king right in the back. Mm -hmm. You see where you see a lot of where a lot of people origins come from. You mm -hmm. see where, where who's Khaleesi's husband? Kyle Drew. Kyle. Kyle Dr I would. It really hurts. I me. love Kyle. Drew. It hurts me that he didn't get a chance to fight anybody besides that one guy. Hey, that fight was crazy though. But I mean, this man. This. <laughs> Need, you know, he didn't need weapons to fight people. And the, and the, the, the my man was dodging. And it, oh look, and I mean, and that witch. Oh, she deserved that. Oh, for sure. Because she sure. should have told Khaleesi what would have been the end result. For for Kyle, he, she should have told. She so did it purposely. She, she did, did that purpose. on purpose. She did that on purpose. Like and you, yeah. your people burned my temple. And by that time, before you got here, I already had like four or five people, you know, rape me. And I was like, okay, 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 I got you. You didn't save me from anything. Okay, but you still didn't have to do what you did to Khaleesi. She was really trying to help you out, okay? For real? I, so mean, she, I mean, she took advantage of it. Yeah. And you know, killed her baby, you know. But you know, when she was, when she was fixing Cal, Boy, when she was doing her ritual, I heard demons. You heard demons. I heard demons. You didn't see demons, but you heard. I them. heard demons. So I was like, she's doing some legit stuff to this dude. I mean, they kept telling her, her oh, like the the the, the actual people, yeah. Khaleesi's people, they were saying, no, don't, we don't do witchcraft. We do not do witchcraft. But I mean, I don't want him to, to catch an infection. Yeah. I don't want him to have an infection. I'm like, come on now. This Count Drogo's not going to die with her. A little scratch. Mm. I mean, come on now. He looked like he was in bad shape, though. Yeah, just a little one. Just a little just one. Little. He let him hit him, really. He like take it. He just took it right there. He the pushed it in even more. I was like, Cal, what you doing, baby? He said, I can take it. So I was like, okay, okay. Uh, but to see where she had to see that her 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 moon installed mm. just was just dying right in front of her mm. and to see that he was just pretty much brain dead. Mm. He, he didn't have no emotion. He wasn't like the the cow droller that we love. Mm. So she was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna burn you. <laughs> okay. And then she said, you're gonna scream. Oh I won't. Oh yes you will. <laughs> you will. And then you see her going there and you see little shades of it when she picks oh, up the stone. Got Khaleesi. Got or not the stone, but the egg, the, egg, the yeah, dragon yeah. egg. And she has it over the fire. And she ain't burning. And the, the where her servant Certainly, came in yeah. and said, Oh Khaleesi, and she grabbed it in her hand. Was burned. You start seeing it. You see, and you start seeing her brother. He called himself the dragon. Dragon King. I hate her brother so much. So when Cal, a crown for a king. You got it. That was amazing when he did. I, I forgot how awesome that scene was. And then he's, like, you oh, know. Yes. Well, let me take you back. Let me take. Let me take y'all to the wall real quick. You know who I love? Who's that? Sam. Sam. I love Sam. Sam is awesome. And when I saw, I, like, I forgot Sam popped up in season one. I thought he came out in like season two or three or something. I didn't know he came out all the way back in season one. So it was cool seeing my boy Sam again. Um, 
And then Sam's curiosity, always, and he knows so much because I remember not Lord Commander, but the other general or whatever. Yeah, he's like, kind of. Uh, you know what, Sam? You're not as stupid as I thought, because he, because uh, he had said, um, I think they were looking at the White Walker. Oh, when the White Walker got delivered to him, I guess uh, Sam was like, the smell of it, the smell. You remember what Sam said about the smell? Of yeah, the, the smell, the smell of the body. Like something you can tell that it was not uh, a regular dead body. It yeah. smelled like it didn't have any scent or something like that. Something like that. So because he because usually a body rots. Yeah. You know, you get but off it, the stench. Yeah, but it wasn't rotten. And then that's when he came up with the idea of you have to burn him. Mm. You know, and that's and I think that's what they. I don't know if, if someone else said it. Mm -hmm. In the sense that that's what the White Walkers, not White Walkers, but the Wildlings do. Mm -hmm. The Wildlings pretty much do that kind of treatment to their dead. They don't, you know, allow them to to just bury them. They burn them yeah. before they. So it is very. It's just, it's cool to see, you know, uh, John Snow's uncle, who the one who kind of pulled. Uncle Benjamin. Yeah, Uncle Benjamin. Yeah. It's like it's okay, like cool. we forget about him because we don't see him in all the other seasons. Very often you hear about him in the sense of uh, of him going on his little travel on the other side of the wall, and it's 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 very interesting to see the people in King's Landing in the wall because mm -hmm. the people in the wall they know a threat is coming. Mm -hmm. They keep saying winter's coming. They're just thinking it's going to get cold. No, winter brings something with it. Yeah. And the King's Landing people, it's, this has been one of the longest summer ever. They keep talking about how this summer has been a very long summer. So they haven't had winter for a while. Mm. So, especially King's Landing for sure, because they, they don't see snow down there. I bet they always see just the sunshine. So it's, you see that these men are playing this game of thrones, trying to be king. Trying but to be queen. But there's a bigger issue coming. But it's, it's really small right now. Yeah. It's really small. We see hints of it. They know it's the wildlings know this coming. Oh, for the, sure. the, the night watch, the reason why they're there is to prevent whatever is coming to stop it at the wall. The, just to think of, just to see how massive the wall is. The mm. first time of just seeing it, I'm like, mm -hmm. how did a, how did man make this wall? You know, and they say it's full of magic. So mm -hmm. you're trying to think of like what else behind the wall besides White Walkers? They talk about in the other seasons about all these different creatures and the first man and all that stuff like that but when you, you sit down and think about the, the concept of the wall and the Night's Watch it seemed like it's been perverted it's half rapists and murderers and it, it, no one really respects the, white, uh, the, the, the actual Night's Watch they don't respect them at all oh you know? yeah that is true and that's where you know when they were um, going back to Lord Stark what am I say? Oh, Joffrey. Yeah. Um. Yes. My 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 lady, Lady Sansa, and my mother. You know, they say. You know, just. Uh, my mother says. You know, just send Lord Stark to the watch. You know, have. And my lady Sansa says, have mercy. Off with his head. But anyway. But it's like. He he he, he was that bad. He was that wrong. I mean, it, watching, re watching well, it, you feel like he's going to get out of it. You know, I'm glad you said that. The entire time after Ned got arrested or whatever, the whole time, even though I knew what was going to happen, I still thought he was going to make it up. Hmm. That is how powerful Game of Thrones is. Any human that says, I just can't get into it, I don't like Game of Thrones, stupid. Stu stupid. Makes zero sense to me. How can you not be into Game of Thrones? I don't, stupid. I don't get it. I don't get A show that can make me still feel hope for someone I know that's going to end up. Another outcome. I already know it's going to happen. It's just it, off. I mean, seconds. Because it don't it, make sense. The, the, it gets very quiet. The it's very quiet. It's like it gets very tense. Yeah. I would think like someone's going to come out with an arrow. So I. I would, Aria would jump from the sky with her needle. I, I even thought something. Joffrey was going to be like, just playing, kidding, joking, nothing. And, no. and, then the, and then that sword comes down. And, and, and I kid you not, I reacted to Ned. Even though I knew what happened, I reacted to Lord Star the same way I did with Red Wedding. Exact same way. You know, you you know a show is bad a if it's still gonna make you freak out and you already know what happens. Don't make it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. 
It's crazy. So, you got some notes here. I do, yeah. Oh, when Khaleesi talks back and stands up to her brother, mm -hmm. when they were in the tent, and he, he, uh, but he said, don't you ever speak to me this way. And then she clicks on him. I was like, no, that's the Khaleesi I know. She's that straight. She haunts that homeboy. Oh, I'm so where she's at right there. She is, a, she is a queen. Yeah. She is a queen. Like, you really respect who she is. Mm. You really respect all the the, the the stain that she had to get. And I mean, she's still going through a lot right now. But, but for her to be able to stand up to her brother. Because mm. what did he say to her? I will let a whole army yeah. of these... Uh, Run a train on. I'm like, oh my god. That's crazy. And I mean, and then for her not to respect the dragon. I mean, that's the dragon. Her brother was the dragon. Mm -hmm. I mean, and she just says, no, I, I, I have the same blood that you have. But she, she understood that he did. He wasn't a true dragon. Mm -hmm. For him to have that gold burn him like that. Mm -hmm. No, 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 dragons. Dragons don't don't burn. They don't they don't catch on fire, you mm -hmm. know. So I, I think I think like you said that that way that she that is one of those pivotal moments mm -hmm. for her her character to yeah. really be able to stand up for, for herself. herself. Yeah, you know, for it, sure. it was very inspiring for all women everywhere. Okay, because that is an inspirational thing Khaleesi did mm -hmm. to to stand up against her oppressor. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, 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 no more victimhood. Okay? No more. Mm -mm. No more. Now, I remember hearing a name throughout season one. I heard a name I didn't completely recognize at first, so you might can explain it. Mm. Okay, Aegon the Conqueror. Who is that again? Aegon. The, that that's in the family tree of the of the Targaryens. Targaryen. So Khaleesi's people. Yes. This, gotcha. This should be her great. It may be her grandpa. I'm thinking this is her grandpa. Yeah. Uh, if you know exactly how far back Aegon goes to Khaleesi, go ahead and comment and let us know. You think Grandpa? I'm pretty sure because her okay. father was the Mad King. Gotcha. And then the Mad King father was our Aegon, Aegon. The, the, the Conqueror. Gotcha. And he was just the one who started it all. I mean, a lot of places never really saw dragons before him. And never really, I mean, bet they never saw a man riding them. Mm -hmm. So, in the whole concept of him taking over and started this this mindset of the Targaryens having kids with kids. Yeah, you know, incest. Ha having this incest idea. Mm -hmm. And for, what's her name? Mm -hmm. um, not Sansa. I always get their name. Cersei. Mm -hmm. She has the same concept in the sense of the, the Lannisters. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. feels like it's, her justification was the Targaryens did it. But it... To me, it, it brought the idea of why the Mad King is who he is. Mm. Because of the incest. Mm -hmm. For you to have kids with your own brother or sister like that, mm -hmm. you're gonna come out like Joffrey. I think Joffrey's that way too, because he's crazy because of the incest. You think that's what it is? It, it just makes sense. And it's, it's so crazy that the answer was so obvious in the sense of how it was incest. Because uh, my boy Ned, he went to the book of families of, of all how He pieces uh, Black of Hell. Robert. Tar uh, uh, not Robert. What's his last name? I don't remember. Ah, uh, Stannis. Baratheon? Baratheon. Yeah, Ooh, he all the Baratheon. I'm catching up with names. Yeah. Black of Hell. Black of Hell. Black of Hell. White of Hell? That don't make no darn sense. You know, you know, in Sesame Street, that song, one thing here is not like the other. However, the song goes, I like that. It's like it sticks out like a sore thumb, you know. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. This is weird. This is, it's very odd, very weird. odd. And I mean, it, it it seemed like it was so obvious. Everybody should know, but I guess they, like I said, once again, the power that they have, that they have the influence mm -hmm. and the money, mm, especially the money, the money. You know, for him. Uh, my boy uh, Tyrion mm -hmm. to be able to get out of a lot of situations. My family has gold. Like what he told uh, when he was at the Vale, mm -hmm. when he told the guard, "I have lots of gold." Where? Gold. Where? 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 Where's the gold? Where? Man, you you want to leave? There you go. Jump. Like that is a, that is a very clever jail cell. That's a scary. That scene. is a very clever jail cell. What they got at the Vale. I can't stand Lady Stark's sister. She irritates me. Cause she don't listen. Lady Stark is trying to tell her all these things, and she just doesn't want to. She just, mm, 
Mommy, I'm hungry. I want more. I want more. I want more. I was like, not now, go. No, no. It's just a dis. Oh, can't get him. And, the, and the boy's like, what? 15? Somewhere around Don't here. Don't make no darn sense. Um, you know what? Going to uh, the tournament. The tournament where. Uh, the hand? No, no, the mountain. No, I'm saying this. The, it was the hand what? celebration. It was the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hand celebration. So, I, for one, as we all know, the state of mind the mountain is in right now. I forgot what he was like when he was normal. You can call him normal. Yeah, He's normal to me. <laughs> what he can do. I, and then when um, when they were uh, jousting, and he got hit off his horse. By the Knight of Flowers. Not, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, the, the, the pretty one. Yeah, the Knights of Flowers. Yeah, yeah, the pretty one. Uh, To a horse, to your own horse, not to any horse. He did it to his own horse. I. Why would you blame the, the horse? It ain't the horse fault. A little bit, a little bit. It, the a horse ain't bit. the one. No, a uh, bit. it ain't the horse fault. I think that the horse got a little fearful at the very, at the very end, mm -hmm. right there, right when he was about to hit him, mm -hmm. and that that threw him all off. That threw. The, you think that mouth, threw him off? That was the mouth thanks. That was his motivation. And then for him to almost kill the Knights of Flowers mm -hmm. and, and his then brother. The hound, when the hound stepped in, that was epic. Mm -hmm. That was an epic fight. Yeah. You said they fight again, right? Of course. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's, no, 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 they're going to fight again. They haven't fought again, no. Not since. I'm talking. This like is the only time I've ever seen them on screen fight in my memory. Now, we're going to be re-watching all the other seasons, yeah. so we'll be looking for it, but I believe this is the only time they have ever fought. Well, it was pretty epic. Yeah, and this yeah. was like really just a scrimmage. You, just, you think about it? Yeah, because they didn't really get a chance to go out it the way they really, really wanted to. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mean, he was really, I feel like he was more doing the, uh, defending, you know, the night of fire. He wasn't on the offense, mm -hmm. you know, I'm talking about the hound. Mm -hmm. So, that was really the, the, the most impressive thing to see. The mountain's huge, but the hound will stand with them at every strike. Hound ain't small though. He ain't small, but the mountain is. They, they call him the mountain for a reason. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think he, he really wants revenge. He um, for what happened to him as say, a boy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why the mountain did him like that. Because he's crazy. You call him normal. That what you call normal. I said, but he looks normal. Not even looks. He, he looks, looks pretty normal. normal. He's the mountain. The mountain of normal, okay? okay? The mountain of normal, that's what I call him, okay? But I don't know, it's still crazy how you do that to your own brother. Well, that's I mean, crazy. He, he has to learn. He has to learn. <laughs> and you know how he's gonna learn? How's that? By burn. He's gonna be burned. He's gonna get burned to learn, okay, big fella? Uh, got you. Burn to learn, huh? You got it. You got, got it. You. That's, a, that's a simple lesson for me. I mean, there's nothing complicated about that. Black and white. Black and white. I bet he never messed with his toys again. I bet he never even <laughs> thought about it. Uh, ideal pop in the head. He cast that out. Oh, look, okay. So I gotta, so I gotta pause real quick, just real quick, because this, the camera we have, it, uh, it, it, for some reason, it cuts recording after half hour. So you're gonna see a cut, but we're just gonna resume. So hold on, be right back. Welcome back. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So yeah. So we, as we were talking about um, mountain and house. So let me move. Back to Ned real quick. Because, I mean, you really what? feel in this, the, the first season, you feel like Ned is the, the star. You feel like you're going to be following him through the whole series. Because he That's seems like he's the hero, mm -hmm. and you know you know the villains. Mm -hmm. You know everybody's role, you know all the players. Mm -hmm. And for, for us to see what Ned had to go through, and he's such an honorable man. I love him. Honorable man. And that what really made me scratch my head about him having a bastard. I'm like, no, I don't think. It just, I'm like, that doesn't sound like Ned, though. But that sounds like Robert, for sure. For King sure. Robert, for sure. But not Ned, for some odd reason. And the weird thing is, before Ned even left mm -hmm. King, uh, to go to King's Landing, mm -hmm. he, him and John would have a little moment, and this is the last time they saw each other, mm -hmm. is when John was heading with his uncle to, to the wall, and he's like, uh, my mother, who is she again? Ah, uh, yes. I'll, I'll tell you mm -hmm. next time we meet. Yeah. Never got a chance to meet. We so we never know. We'll never know. 
I mean, because we're only talking about season one, so we'll, we'll, never, we'll never find out. It died with him. You got it. We'll never know the, the truth. The origin and the truth of the boss of Jon Snow. I mean, man. Right? Crazy. So, but with, the, with, with, with Ned's investigation into Jamie and, and, and Joffrey and uh, Cersei, don't you think it was technically his fault? She told him. She told him this in the sense of like, are you sure you want to play this game? Because he, he I always say he's such an honorable person. He mm -hmm. gave her a way out. He it was like, okay, man, uh, I'm going to go ahead and you know bring this to the council, and they're going to go ahead and make me. He was, uh, he was going to tell King Robert though, right? He, I mean, he was. Then he saw that King Robert, you know, pretty much died, mm -hmm. and he wrote in the letter. He said his his heir. He didn't say his son Joffrey. Mm -hmm. You know, his you know. He so he he knew that at the very end. He was gonna have to present that that letter mm -hmm. of what Robert said to everybody, mm -hmm. and the truth was gonna get out. So he gave Cersei a chance of like, I'm gonna tell Robert, or I'm gonna tell the truth to everybody else. You're gonna have to leave. Mm -hmm. You get your kids and leave because if you don't, I mean, this city is gonna go on fire and they're gonna come after you. Mm -hmm. And that was his fault right there. That was his biggest fault. He should have never told him, never told Cersei for sure the game plan. He. He said, hey, you know what I found? I found mm -hmm. some interesting news. He's, uh, for me, I feel like he set himself up, though. He's just an honorable man. That's the thing. He should have never talked to her. Because once he started targeting her, or really them. Because the, the way you know, he should have played it is the way they were playing it up there. He didn't adapt to the way the Southerners kind of operate. He worked his way, and he thought, well, my way is the way... Um, that's honorable, mm -hmm. and it was, it is. So I do give him, you know, props for doing it honorably, but at the same time, man, you, that's your own head. You got your own head cut off because you, you kind of showed your hand. You should have did a little bit of a poker face to the very end. Well, on the flip side, um, I, feel, I feel like Cersei showed a little bit of some clemency because she didn't, she, she didn't tell Joffrey to kill him. Even though it might have been a part of her plan, maybe, or she wanted to scare him, but the end result was, I, I'm, I want you to go to the watch. That's technically sparing his life. But I mean, so we we're, we're not seeing how it all played out, though. In the uh, sense of we're seeing Ned figuring it out, and in his investigation, sure. him and Jamie have a fight. You know, and I, this lo is, I love their their banter's with each other. And it was because of Tyrion, but mm -hmm. it's all wrapped in one thing. One, because of the mystery of Jaime and Cersei and because of Tyrion. And they think Tyrion was the one who tried to assassinate Bran, mm -hmm. you know. But that fight right there, if it went the wrong way for Jaime, in the sense of his man and come out of nowhere and stab Ned in the leg like that, um, chicken move. But for mm -hmm. him to do it like that, if, I mean, Ned was going pound by pound against Jaime. And Jaime was surprised. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking he could have beat him. He could have literally beat him. And if he did, if he killed Jamie, oh, Cersei would have came after him hard, real hard. She would have told. She would have told Jeff, uh, Joffrey to kill him. But you know what? Jamie got honor too, though, as a warrior. He got to honor. a certain extent. To a certain extent. Because remember when when his man stabbed. Oh, he got mad. He yeah, got mad. when he stabbed uh, Stark in the leg. That's honor because he wanted to take him down on his Let's own. Just one thing. Without his help. The things I do for love. Some would call that honorable, though. No, it's not. No, we're close. Some honorable. people would. Who? I'm not, I'm not saying I would. I said some people would. They because remember, wrong. because remember, some people do crazy things for love. That's not honorable. That's what I'm saying. Some people would say that. No one would say that. They're wrong. Just the same way. I, I'm saying. just saying. I've heard people say no. like, like you know who when they did what they did to me, they said it was for love. Because they love the other person, so they did me wrong. Remember? Mm -hmm. I don't call that honorable. I call. I don't either. But I'm saying some people would call Mar would call that honorable because of. Did I say I agree? Why are you bringing it up for it? Let them fight their own battles. Let's put, put in the <laughs> comments. Put in the comments here. You believe that's honorable? <laughs> like, like, I don't. I believe what was honorable in this show of love uh -huh. was the whole Tyrion thing. He mm -hmm. didn't like Ned. Didn't know what um what what his wife was doing. He didn't know what she was doing, Lady Stark. Mm -hmm. But when Jamie brought it up, yeah, I heard that your wife took my brother, and he has her. He has her up there in the veil. 
Actually, it was my order. That was led to actually he took the blame. Yeah. Like, Don't go after my wife. That, that's that's honorable. That is honorable. He lied. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it was honorable because he like. If you want to aim your attack and your aggression to someone, aim it to me, not a husband, not Lady Stark. I got you. That's honorable, but that showed love, but he lied. Yes. But throwing a kid out of a window, I don't know how. There's no excuse You for can't that. paint no picture gotcha. of someone saying, but well, that's honorable. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not defending it, because I love Brett. I wouldn't want nothing her bad to happen to Brett. So we can move on. Anyway. Like I said, some people. Okay. I mean, I can't, you know. Okay. Because I've seen a lot of dishonorable things done, and then the pe person's excuse is, oh, I did it because I love, you know, this person or whatever, whatever. And then someone else could hear that and be like, oh, okay, I see what you mean, I see what you mean. Because you love that person, you do that other person horribly. Like I said, some people. Mm. Not all. Just some, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. But speaking of love, I forgot how much I loved Raw. I'm telling you, that red wedding is just really starting to piss me off more and more than I think about it. Season one. one. I know. But everyone, I. But anyway, season one. So seeing Rob again, Rob transforming into, you know, the prince to king. He's king trying, of the north. King of the. King of the North, when they were uh, having their supper at that, uh, at, around that campfire, mm -hmm. and they were discussing, um, I guess the best, how to best handle. Um, Listen up here, boy. <laughs> and then, I remember, I remember that one time the wolf came and ate, ate my man's Finger. two, two fingers. fingers yeah. yeah. And he started laughing though. That's how you know these are northern uh, northerners. They is crazy. That's crazy. The northerners is like they they are a whole other beast all together. They're a whole sure. other creature. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I really do. I care for the whole Stark family. I love Arya. I really fell in love with Arya. Your favorite? To see how she was able to learn from her dance instructor. I like her. I like her instructor. Her instructor was really cool. Yeah, he taught some real good life lessons too. Not just about you know dealing with some some um, some sword action, but some mm -hmm. life lessons you about it. how to deal with. Don't focus on what people say. Mm -hmm. Don't focus what they 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 might you know look like they were doing. Watch. Just watch. Watch them. Watch them because you'll be able to see their true motives and their mm -hmm. agendas. Okay. The dancer, there's there's one specific thing the dancer said I loved. What, what are you doing? You said you're gonna go left. I lied. The lesson he was trying to teach Arya was even though you're watching doesn't mean you're seeing, so you gotta watch to see. Because people can be completely oblivious to what they're watching, right, you know? But they, they're not seeing what's really happening in front of them. So, I love that lesson he taught Ari. Yeah, I mean, to me, he was saying, don't react, because you're reacting right now after I've already hit you. You yeah. need to adapt to mm -hmm. what you're seeing. If you're adapting to it, you'll be able to maneuver and be able to, to, to parry or whatever it is mm -hmm. when it comes to it. So, I believe she, she learns that down the road, but I think this like this like I said this and just to see him fight those soldiers with a wooden stick. I would love to see him with a real sword. And he was going to town. He went to town. And he was just knocking heads. And, and the thing is, we don't know if he's dead. They never showed his body. But you heard his agony. What agony? I heard people screaming. You didn't hear him scream? No. Even Arya when Arya was running she's she yeah. stopped and she looked back because she heard she heard the yelling. It yeah. sounded like him. I don't know. It, I mean, said, hey, I'm not talking about the season, but we thought people have died and they came back. Oh, people I have, see. We, we thought people have come and they came back. Okay, okay. So, I mean, like I said, we don't know. They didn't show the body. That's true. But it's been like seven. I guess they figured the audience don't care. Where, where about is, where's the where's that city? What? Bravos or I forget where he's he's from. He's he's from a certain area. Where the dancer? Yeah, the dancer is from a certain area that is not really in the the, the main part of the Game of Thrones. And it's it's, it's kind of like on the outskirts. To all know? to all the Game of Thrones gurus out there, where is Arya's teacher from? Where's his birthplace? Yeah. 
Is so, it, is it Bravo? You say you think Bravo? It's something with the, it's like something Bravo, yeah. Gotcha. So, but mm-hmm. I, I really do, you know, like you said, appreciate how his how he was operating and how I mean, if he did end, you know, if that was his end, he went out honorable too. Okay, he, that, that was, was very honorable. That was very very honorable. Okay, okay. Yeah, gotcha. so I appreciate appreciate that. I, I just appreciate Arya being against what everybody wanted her to be. Everybody wanted her to be a princess. And she said, no, I want to be a knight, really. I mean, yeah, that's not me. I'm like, she got Sansa be. might be a princess. I'm not. And I mean... I want blood. You needle. She, mm-hmm. she got her little needle. Mm-hmm. She killed somebody. She killed somebody. You see that last fight? Like, because this little boy saw her. Mm-hmm. And he said, hey, yeah, I'm going to turn you in to, to get a, a prize. And she said, no, you're not. And she hit him with that needle and went right through his neck. Mm. Yep, yep, I was yep. like, Arya, that's your first body. That's your first body that you drop. I mean, man. Body count. She got some body count on. You get it. And I'm like, that's why I really appreciate her. I mean, I love me some John. I think he's maybe like my next runner up mm-hmm. after um, Arya. Maybe, maybe Khaleesi. Khaleesi's your number one, right? Khaleesi and Jon Snow, it's like this. They're both my number one and two, and they just keep. No, no respect for Arya. I got you. You're gonna learn one day. I love Arya. Arya's top five. Other seasons gonna help you. Arya's top five. Other seasons gonna help you. But hold on, you're gonna hate me even more. So like I said, Khaleesi and Jon Snow, they're like this, and then right on, right under them two, my imp. Okay. I love Torian Bad. That is my boy right there, boy. For him to be able to, you know, move around the way he does. You know he has to be smart. He has to be able to yeah. slick with the words, mm-hmm. slick with that mouth, mm-hmm. because he's very clever. What that mouth do though? He's a very clever man. Okay? I'm telling you. I'm telling you that is, that way that him to even be able to get out of that. Uh, I want to see the little man fly. I want to see the little man fly, mommy, mommy. Let me see the little man fly. <laughs> oh, I'm not flying today. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, um, and then he paid his debts. He gave yeah. that man all he got. You know who else I do like though? I like Braun. Braun, oh yeah, sure. Braun is real He's, cool. They are like really perfect for each other. They are. They are perfect for each other. So I, re- I really like this when they when they're able to do this. They do this other season too when they pair two people together mm-hmm. that you may didn't like, you know, suspect to you know be together in the sense of like you said, Braun. Um, in other, they haven't did it yet, but in other seasons they do that too. They put people together and they on the roll. And you just see how they like click in the With chemistry and everything mm-hmm. like that. So kind of, kind of like um, Arya and my, yeah? no, 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 my. Well, yeah, they did travel together, didn't they? But yeah. I'm talking about my uh, my tall blonde haired chick. The tall. Oh blonde. yeah, 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 yeah. She was cool with it too. But did, did they travel together though? Yeah, I feel like they did. I feel like with Sansa. She like, did travel with Sansa, but she, I feel like she didn't travel with Arya. No, but that's up to she. That's up to she. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, like, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. We'll get there. Yeah. Okay, I do have another name I am not familiar with. Haman the Targaryen. Who is Haman the Targaryen? Haman the Targaryen. Mm-hmm. Now, Haman the Targaryen, I believe he's still alive. Yes, he's at. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. He's at the watch. Yeah. So I need. What's his origin? He he told Jon Snow his origin, but you know. Did you get it? I got it, but I just want like more breakdown. I guess. It's one of the most biggest. Things out in the in the world of Game of Thrones. Everybody's worrying about Khaleesi and her brother. Gotcha. Everybody's worrying about you know uh, Joffrey and King Robert bastards and stuff like that. But the official next heir after the Mad King is his brother. That is his brother up there right now. The Mad King's brother is up there at the wall. Now I could be wrong, but by the story that he was saying is that he didn't want to be part of it so he just you know chose this humble life of being a mason what do they call him? what was the with the chains and oh like like at the castle yeah yeah that's what he is he's a, he is funny he's I'm, funny I, but, I like him he is funny. but yeah he's he's a targaryen and he's yeah, yeah. and he's the mad king's brother see now that he yeah he did say that he did so say when that. he's he's the next he's literally legitimately the next heir of the throne he's supposed to be on the throne right now but he didn't want it he did not want it. Yeah, a lot of people would be out for his head, bro. Yeah, but he was able to you know, be low key about it, and he's after everybody. Went, everybody's worrying about that. Mm-hmm. And this man up here, Targaryen, is up there. 
Just oh, chilling. Just chilling. Just He's been chilling. up there years. Years. You know, seeing all this stuff plays out. Cause I think I don't know how long you've been uh, uh, one of those guys that uh, are masters. I think feel like they're very call. Yeah, the masters. Uh, but yeah, it's like that is just crazy. Mm -hmm. That information right there. His and uh, this is uh, Khaleesi's uncle. Yeah, that's her uncle. Because her father was the Mad King, and this okay. is her Mad King's brother. So yeah, her uncle. Yeah. That's her uncle up there. You know. So I'm like, that is crazy. You will think a Targaryen, all the Targaryens are pretty much dead. No, nope, we got one we right got one mom just chilling. I'm like, man, and he's like, he's not crazy. Mm -hmm. He's not trying to take he's over normal. Yeah, and he's a very humble kind of guy. Very. He very. wants to teach, you know, Sam especially. I mean, he's he teaching Jon Snow a lot of yeah, too. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I think he's trying to teach Jon Snow, like, yes, you tied to uh, to the, 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 the house of Winterfell, the mm -hmm. Starks and your father, mm -hmm. and you want to, you know, go save him and everything like that. But... You're one of the Night's Watch now. You gotta put that, that all behind you. The same as me. Because, really, I should be able to be on the throne. But I took these vows. And I take these vows very seriously. Hopefully you do the same. Yeah. You know? Because, uh, if you remember, you know, I mean, when Jon Snow found out, he was he was trying to run and leave. Hey. And then his friends chased after him. You made your pledge. You, I pledged to the, to the watch. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't just leave. You know? But, I mean... And then, then the Lord you know, Commander know? Yeah, what kind of really called him out on it? He yeah. found out, but he's yeah. like, yeah, don't worry about it. Everybody do it. I mean, yeah, if if you if we killed every person that tried to leave, ghosts would be the pretty only. much protected the wall. So yeah. just just calm down and go get me my my my, my drink. Just yeah. give me my supper. I okay. mean, yeah, and I mean, I really appreciate the the, the Lord's command. I like Lord Command. He's real cool. He's yeah, real cool. And I mean, he's the father of. Who? Khaleesi's like right hand man. He's a you know that knight up there. He's like he's from um, Winter, not Winterfell. Oh, you talking about my, my bronze haired dude? Yeah, that's his dad. Yes, yeah, his dad. Ned, I never knew that. Ned kicked him out of the whole thing because he was, um, I believe, he was selling slaves or he was doing something illegal, and Ned gotcha. caught him and he you know pretty much banished him. So he kind of brought honor. He brought not honor, but um, Shame to that house of the Lord Commander. So I believe didn't uh, Lord Commander give him a sword that was in his family, you know? And he was like, yeah, you know. yeah, the Valerian steel. One. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, I'm supposed to give it to my son, but he yeah. brought shame to my household. So, so you can. Have and it. he put a little wolf on there. Yeah. You're like, I'm like, Don't but he want. said wolf or bear. Remember I'm saying it could be a bear too. I guess so, but I mean, I think it looks like a wolf. It looks more wolf. It looks more like a wolf. Okay. But I'm like, man, you know those bad boys. Uh -huh. Those are some famous swords. Those are some yeah. big famous swords. Valerian steel. You know, I mean, I think the same steel was the one that they had in that dagger that was trying to kill Bran. You know, not, yeah, Bran. The son. The one who got, you know. Yeah, yeah, Bran, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was very, it, it's, it cuts very sharp and it's, and it's not like any other swords out there, any kind of steel. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, it's just well, watching this first season. Mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, it, Put you right back how you feel the first time you saw it. The first time I saw it. Very first time. I mean, it, you'll think, like, ah, going through the motions. Nope. Nope. You're, You're invested just like that. Every episode. All every second. over again. You still feel the pain for Lord Stark and the joy of seeing Lady Stark doing her the thing. The hatred for Joffrey. Hating Joffrey. Oh, I hate Joffrey so much more now. So much more now. And I mean, Jamie. I hate Jamie too. Uh, Jamie's just so just. Ugh. I love Tyrion. I don't, I don't think they're ever gonna change. T Imp is the only Lannister I will forever love. Yeah, yeah. I will forever. Love. But you know, it was kind of nice when um, what's their dad's name again? Uh, Ty Ty Tyrone. Ty Tyrone. I won't say Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone. Tyrone. Whenever uh, they dad. When him and Imp were chilling, drinking, well, no, 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 they were having a war meeting, war meeting, whatever. Mm -hmm. And Tyron said, hey, okay, everyone out, you. except you, you stay. Mm -hmm. I want you to go be the hands of the king. What? You want me to, he said, I want, you to, I want you to rule. Yeah. Why? You're my son. That one instant, I saw some humanity from, No. I saw humanity a little bit. I see my, my um, what? What's the word? I was trying to think of. Um, 
So he's manipulating. He's uh, manipulating. He, that crossed my mind too. He's doing that purposely. He doesn't appreciate know. him. He don't know, man. I don't know. He using Tyrion him. proved he's not stupid. Of course not. So Tyrion probably recognized, you know, I should probably what did, what appreciate did, my what kids. Did, what did Tyrion more. say? What? He said, every man that has a dwarf sees that dwarf as a bastard. That is pretty much a bastard to them. I got any you. man that so he steals a dwarf. He, even though he's even though whatever he's able to accomplish in his life, mm -hmm. he killed his wife, mm -hmm. and I mean, he's a dwarf. We, he's not gonna forget that. He's a smart dwarf. He's right. a, he's, a, he's a able to, to to do things that a lot of people really doubt that he could do. Mm -hmm. But he still, I think he's like half of a son to him. He's just half of a son. I don't. I still yes, but I still feel Tyrion showed him. I think you. I think you're looking, but you're not watching. You're not really watching what he's doing. I I see. I don't. See. I see the potential manipulation, mm, I but I also recognize the slight appreciation for an intelligent child you have. Yeah, like I said, he's using. It. But is it beyond all reasonable doubt that he is just affectionate to him in that one instance? Nope. It's impossible. This is Tyrion. Not Tyrion, but uh, uh, Tyrion. Tyrion. Tyrion, no. You think it's impossible? No. What, what do y'all think? Do you think it's possible? No. Possible. Not even close. Not even close. No question. No. No. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Well, you know, Just impossible. Impossible. I can't. You know what? It's, it's like if you're saying if, uh, what's her name? Who? Cersei mm -hmm. can see Tyrion as her brother. She don't see him as a brother. She don't care about him. She'll never care about him. Zero percent. Zero. She's, I bet she's been torturing him ever since he's been born. Till this day, till that day, they in season one, she don't care for him. She hates him. She hates him. And I think the only one who really cares about him is Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. I Jamie 100 percent cares for his brother. You know. So no. Oh no. Just no. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, love, I mean, I do love their father, though. Out of all the, like, if I had to put another Lannister, well, you know, at this point right now, in season one, it goes Tyrion, mm -hmm. Tyrion. You like the dad. Huh? The dad, he just, he's so cool, you know, in the sense of how he, he kind of moves and operates, how he sees, you know, strategy, how, I mean, he's able to do some low down, dirty stuff, mm -hmm. you know, but... It's just, it's just like you're, you are—you gotta appreciate the man and how you got his swag, mm. you know, you know. But not his affection. You don't need affection. Men don't need each other. No. He, well, and that, he, if he wants to show affection, mm -hmm. he can show it to his horse. I give him permission. Show it to the horse. <laughs> you know. He but not my him. No, of course not. Of course not. No. I'm so done. I'm of course so not. Done. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna fast. Forward. We're gonna wrap up pretty much. We're gonna wrap, start wrapping up here. Uh, like I said, this is just a trial run, sort of, pilot episode. So I guess in the comments, or I guess technically I can go by the amount of likes and dislikes, I guess, but if y'all like this idea, should we continue? If you have any corrections, please do. You that too. Them. Go ahead and shout them out. You know, um, but let me fast forward to the last scene of season one finale. I'm telling you, when I say I love me some Khaleesi, Baby! <clears throat> well, no, she was like down here, but you know, I'm just. You know. I mean, they were. They, the, the, like, that's crazy! Her, her, night, her little knight was saying, do not do this. You will not survive this. I will. Just have faith in me. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a dragon queen, baby. I'm worried. And I mean, you see, you hear someone screaming. That witch was screaming. She, that that witch, witch was screaming. screaming, okay. And I mean, it, it like it burned all night. I feel like when she yeah. came out the ashes, mm -hmm. it was daytime. Mm -hmm. You know, so she just sat in there, and like you said, the sea, the smoke clear. Mm. She just, just sitting there, just stand up. I got goosebumps all over again. Tell anyone that says. I can't get into it. I don't like it. Stupid. Stupid. I don't care. I don't want to. I don't want to hear no. Uh, stupid. Just stupid. Just I stupid. mean, if you can get to that first, that last shot of the first episode, 
of them just pushing brand out the window it really hooks me in right there just to see are they gonna get what they deserve, what they deserve? for real are they, going, are they gonna be able to get you know that 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 karma mm. that, that's out there i, I, I really really the hope they do karma. i hope they do but to get to that last shot i mean i've had people mm. say they stopped after season two i don't i don't know how season two I'm trying to actually remember what the finale of season two was. No, don't worry about that. Yeah, when we get to season two. But people have started it and they just can't finish it. Stupid. You know, Stupid. because it's, it's not like it's 25 episodes a season. Stupid. Just 10 episodes, I believe. I mean, that's less than Walking Dead, right? You got it. It is. And, and folks like Walking Dead is more than Game of Thrones. I mean, they they, they, they literally, they, they stopped watching Game of Thrones. A lot of people stopped watching Walking Dead about only season six, season seven. After, I'd say after Blood, really. After Blood, for sure. But I think that's around that, that time, season six right there. Yeah. But people don't give it past episode one sometimes of Game of Thrones. Episode two. They just, they just can't get into it. It has, it has zombies. Okay, we got White Walker. Better zombies. We got I'm politicians. We got fighting. We got incest. We I got mean, if, if nothing else sells it, incest should be on the top of everybody's list. They need to be selling Game of Thrones. If you haven't seen incest, come here. Just come here. <laughs> Don't make no dawn no sense. But yeah. Anyway, this is a pilot episode. So, like I said, in the comments, likes, or whatever, it's just corrections, please correct me. <laughs> yes, let let me know if uh, this is a good idea. If you want to see us continue, like I said, hopefully in the future episodes we'll have uh, guests here and there. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically today there's supposed to be peace, peace. Reinforcements will be coming. They will be coming. Possible future guests. Um, so yeah, all right. Like, share, subscribe, or hey, download this, jam. Hey, like I said, this is a podcast. So if you want to jam this on your road trip, on your way to work, hey, we're talking Game of Thrones. You can never get enough of Game of Thrones, okay? So like, share, subscribe. And if you didn't like this, you can suck your mother. All right, we out. Jax, cut the camera off. DK, cut, cut the camera Someone cut the camera off. Cut it off. I know it. I throw it, I if it cuts it off, oh, you think I can make it? You think I can if it cuts it off, go throw it in. Not my camera, so. <laughs>